Hello, how are you today? <coughs> Hello, teacher. Good what? evening. Good evening. How are you today? Ready, ready? Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya estamos. Ok. Good morning. Good night. Good evening. Ay, no me Hello. ¿Cómo se llama? Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? Fine, fine. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, vamos a ver. Basha. Ahí está. Hoy sí, ya vemos 10. Vamos okay. a ver. I'm going to call you. Adriana Marcela. Adriana present Marcela. teacher, present. Okay, Ana Alicia. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Diego. Present. Mm -hmm. Diego. Hi, present. Edwin. Mm -hmm. Elvin Present teacher Grace Mitchell Present teacher Joanna Present teacher Jonathan Jonathan, no here, Jonathan. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. 
Luis Mauricio. Nubia. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar. Beatriz Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, well, I see 15 people now, nice. Okay. I'm going to share the presentation with you. Oh, I'm going to share hey, before, before I forget, right? Okay, um, well, this is our class number. A ver, what number? What number is this class? Seven. Exactly. This is class number seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, today we are going to be talking about adverse of frequency. What adverse of frequency do you know? I'm going to give you a minute for you to write as many adverse of frequency as you can and then you tell me, okay? Minute running. Minute running, running, running. Thirty seconds. Batch. Ready, ready? Yes. Teacher, ya pasó lista. Yes. Luis Nolasco, present, please. Okay, Luis. Ready, ready. Vaya. Hoy sí. Vamos a ver. What adverse of frequency? Do you know? What adverse of frequency do you know? Tell me. Always. Okay. Usually, sometimes, often, never. Uy, espera, me voy a escribir, escribir con... Ah. Allí no me abunda. Ajá, uh -huh, so you said always, usually, ajá, uh -huh. sometimes, sometimes, 
Never. Yeah. Often. Mm. Badly. Okay. Okay. Badly is an adverb, but it's another type of adverb that's an adverb. Of Normally. Partner. Normally. Uh huh. Eventually. Generally. Mm -hmm. Grongly, grongly. Grongly is an adverb of manner too. <coughs> Eventually. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Late. That's an adverb of manner. Quickly. It's an adverb of manner. Frequently. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another. No more. Teacher, de vez en cuando se escribe from time to time. From time to time, yes. Uh -huh. From time to time. Okay. No more. Hmm? No. Slowly, teacher. Slowly is an adverb of manner too. The adverb of manner describes uh, how you do something. And the adverb of frequency describes the frequent, the frequency you do something. Occasionally. Teacher, can you repeat that, please? Adverbs of manner describe how you do something. Good night, adverbs... teacher. Hello, good night, good evening. An adverse of frequency describe the frequency you do something. And today we are going to be talking about the, the frequency, right? Uh, what is the frequency that you do um, the cleaning? Um, or how often do you answer email? How often do you make calls? How often do you go out? Okay, that's what we are going to be talking about today. Now, let's go to the next slide. Look at these questions. They are in your manual, page 21. And number one says, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? What are some successful restaurants you know? Mm -hmm. One, what is an important strategy restaurants could imp implement to get more clients? And the, and the second, what are some successful restaurants you know? I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go discuss these questions. Okay, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Back. There you go. Ready? Discussion time. Go ahead.
Good evening. Good evening, Karen. Estoy yo no estoy en grupo. Pues veo que no se ha unido. Es que me aparecen otros dos. Vamos Ven. a ver, Carla Lorena y Edwin está aquí. Va a cheque, Karen, ahí la acabo de mandar a un grupo. Ahí está. Carolina, hello. Eh, ahorita va llegando a la casa. Ya, va, ya casi llegando, dice. Ah, ok, ok. Este que rumes, quiero ver al um, número dos. Aquí es en la en la pregunta Juan y dice que ¿cuál es importante estrategia? Strategy. 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 Restaurant. Vaya, uh, ya le traje otra compañerita. Sería. Teacher, en ah. el otro grupo del que me acaba de sacar estábamos igual. La otra compañera se quedó sola porque Karen no contestaba ni nada. Ay, no le creo. <risa> Ay, no. Bueno, aquí sería que. Karen, Karen, hello. Karen. Karen, micrófono. Hola. ¿Me escucho? Sí, 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 hoy sí, hoy sí. Vaya, discuss the questions with Grace. Hello, Grace. Hello, no, Grace. No, no sé qué estaba mostrando. Ah, Vaya, you're going to discuss the questions eh, in the, that are in the manual page, page number 21. The page, the, the questions that are at the beginning that says, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? And the other, what are some successful restaurants you know? That's what you're going to discuss, pero no sé si Grace está aquí. Yes, teacher. Ah, va. Ok. Bye. Entonces son las dos preguntas de la página 21. Sí, exactly. Exacto. Ok. Discuss with Grace, Karen. Karen, Karen, discuss with Grace. Yo ahorita solo estoy buscando el, 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 la página, teacher, porque me tengo que salir. Okay. So, porque está en el cell phone, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Yo tengo que hacer el, el material. Sí, sí, facilita la vida, la verdad. The most important strategies are, aquí es, are, are, or could be, pues, mejor verdad. Could be, no te, could be. Ve, ahí está. De ahí, solo esa, ¿verdad? O agregamos algo más. No, yo digo que eso está bien. Y la otra pregunta es. Uh, it, uh, this, uh, what are some successful restaurants you know? What consider you that could be some? 
fast food, eh, McDonald's, the Burger King, Pizza Hut. Uh -huh. About about fast food or McDonald's. ¿Cuál otro dijo? Uh, Burger King, McDonald's, Pizza Hut. Porque. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí tenemos eso, pea. Sí. De ahí. Sí, con eso está bien. Quiero ver otro. Un excelente servicio hablando de comida rápida. Kentucky podría ser también. Ajá. Podría ser para mí. Pollo campero, no. Pollo, o sea, yo, yo, yo he tenido eh, mala experiencia con el campero porque estaba en un mundo en servir la comida. <risa> y solo lleno pasa. <risa> Quiero ver. Eh, pero que solo eso es, ¿verdad? Sí. Y estamos ahí entonces. Vale. Ok, we finished. Sure. Ok. No sé si le tomo captura o anoto, no bien. Le voy a tomar una captura. Y no sé si lo ve ahí o necesita que sea más grandecito. No, sí se ve, pero. Ok. <coughs> Ok. Nice, nice. Patch. I guess everybody finished, okay. right? I'm going to call you then. <laughs> ok, teacher. Okay. Finish. Finish, finish. Let's see. <clears throat> Who wants to be my first volunteer for the first question? Me. Okay. Me and you. Pero como vamos que son dos preguntas en uno. Y sé why es importante estrategia de restaurante que es una estrategia importante para el restaurante. Eh, in, a pers in, a, in my person is 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 so many time river prefer to day restaurant mm -hmm. throw throw uh, incente throw incente a small small burger company with a toy. Oh, man, pero... Va, va así la respuesta. Ok. Y después dice que... Was also some... algunos restaurantes. What restaurants? What restaurants? Well, first, first restaurant, sería, is, 
McDonald, Burger King, Channel World. Ajá. Only. Only. Mm. Ok. Any other volunteer? Another volunteer? Me, teacher? Ajá. Uh -huh. um, what is an important strategy restaurant could implement to get more clients? Um, innovation the menu frequently give an excellent customer service uh, have a reasonable prices and accessibility mm -hmm. e, um, what are some successful restaurants you know um, fast food are McDonald's Mm -hmm. Burger King, Pizza Hut, KFC. Okay. One more volunteer. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> One more volunteer. Yes, yes. A ver, Oscar. Teacher, with Nubia, we were we was talking about about the kind of how uh, buffalo wings uh, manage her no, ¿cómo sería? Maneja sus sus redes sociales. The the social media. Ajá, ajá. Uh, we we think that that they have a great a, a strategy about a, a, their social media because they make a frequently a campaigns, um, campaigns, I don't know, mm -hmm. about, for example, hace poco hicieron, perdón, el de, el de los bomberos, eh, igual hacen para, para el día de, para cuando a ellos les hacen la, la navidad y cosas así, entonces su manera de Ese tipo de manera de, de manejar las, las redes sociales hace que ellos crezcan como empresa y uno como cliente sienta más empatía. Oh, that's great. Now, you know, the social media plays a very, very important role in the helping a company to grow or to go down, right? So that's very very important okay so one strategy is that one right okay well now let's check again we have a conversation here pay attention to the words in black right hello jennifer is it how is it going Repeat, hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, How's Jennifer. Going? Hello, Jennifer. Going? Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. Just fine, Mr. Mott. Just fine, Mr. Mott. Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just, just checking the number of people who come in on a regular basis. I am just, just checking, checking the, the number, number of people, people who come in on a regular, regular basis. basis. For, for coming in the regular that basis. sounds good. Look. That's so That's good. So good. That's so Look. good. Look. I'm thinking about new marketing strategies. I think I'm about the marketing, marketing strategies. And I want to know some things. I want to know some things. And I want to know something. Tell me, Sir. 
Tell me, sir. sir. Tell me, sir. Tell, Tell me, me, sir. How often do we change the menu? How often do, do we change, change the menu? Change the menu? <clears throat> well, we seldom change the menu. Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a desert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? Do we ever Do give we a promotional item? Promotional item? item? No, sir, we never do. We never do. No, no sir. Dear. We never, we never do. do. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Hello, Hello Jennifer. Jennifer. How is How's it going? going? Just fine, Miss Amat. I'm just checking the number of people who come in on a regular basis. Just fine, Mr. Bond. I'm just checking the numbers of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Look, I want to think about new marketing strategies. I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. Tell, Tell me, me sir. sir. How often do we change the menu? How, how often do, how often do, we, do change the menu? we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. We well, we seldom, seldom change the menu. Change the However, menu. we are promoting a desert every week. <coughs> However, we, we are promoting a desert every week. Everywhere. everywhere. We every can. week, week. Every week. Mm -hmm. Do we ever do we ever give a promotional item? Do we ever we give a promotional, promotional item? item? No, sir. We never do. No, no sir. sir no. We never we do. Never do. Okay. Well, and I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to practice the conversation and answer these questions right what kind of restaurant do you think jennifer manages what are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients okay teacher excuse me what is the meaning of basis regular basis like normally normally mm -hmm. Teacher, and um, what is the meaning of often? Often is frequentemente. Frequentemente. For example, if you say we often, uh, like in the question, right? If you, if you use it in the question, con que frecuencia? But if we use it in the answer, it's frequentemente. Okay, thank you. Con que frecuencia? Sí, perdón, ¿con qué, ¿Con qué frecuencia, frecuencia cambia el menú? Uh -huh, exactly. Así es. Sí, sí, así okay. es. Ok, thank you. Y celdo me es así como que casi nunca, ¿verdad? Muy raramente. Come That's on. seldom. Uh -huh. Wilson, ok, any question, any other question? Teacher, dessert ah. is era postre, verdad? ¿O qué era? Desert, sí. Sí, desert. Sí, ese es postre. Y si decimos dessert con doble S, desierto. Ok. Sí. Thank you. Fíjense que la pronunciación ahí, una letrita y la pronunciación hace una gran diferencia. Sí. ¿Cómo dijo que era desierto, teacher? Desert. 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 Right? Desert. 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 Con el estrés en la... Con el estrés en la... Ya le voy a escribir aquí. Desert. 
Yo tengo desert. Desert, el estrema acá. ¿Sí? Sure. Pero cuando eh, decimos desert, con doble S y el estrés va aquí. The desert, this is the Sahara Desert. De at de ta at ¿Cómo es que se llama? Ata Atacama, vea. De Atacama Desert. De Gobi. Desert. Chile. Ajá. Desert. Desert, con el estrés aquí. Pero desert, desert, el estrés es en la segunda sílaba. Entonces, hace una diferencia al escribirlo, porque lo escribe con doble S, y hace una diferencia al pronunciarlo, porque el estrés cambia. Es una sílaba diferente la que tiene el estrés. ¿Verdad? Any other question over there? Yes, teacher. Excuse me. Could you could you tell me if, if the meaning of how is it going? ¿Cómo va esto? How is it going? ¿Cómo va? Es que no siempre se traduce literal. ¿Verdad? Como cuando le preguntan, what's, up, what's happening? Y usted, y es, ¿qué pasa? ¿Verdad? No, ¿qué está pasando? Sino que, ¿qué pasa? How is it going? ¿Cómo va todo? Uh -huh. Teacher. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, what is the meaning of the word? Of the word? Basis. Basis. No le, no le logré escuchar. Basis. B-A-S-I-S. Basis. Yes. Cuando decimos in a regular basis es como así regularmente. Ajá. Because she's, she's paying attention or like, have you seen that sometimes in the entrance of a mall or in the entrance of a store, there is a person just standing with a notebook. Como que solo ponen palito, palito, palito. O a veces como que ponen que entra un hombre, entra una mujer, entra un niño. The, what they are checking is the number of people who come to come in the store in a normal time. Ya sea regularly. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? What is a promotional item? Who can tell me? One thing that in the menu, uh, for example, one specific uh, promotion. But if we say a promotional item, Can you see this? Ah, teacher, artículo promocional. Mm -hmm. Can be whatever. I got this pen from Digestomen. I imagine it was a pharmacy, the one that gave it to me. For example, a bottle, a pencil. Sí, the most common prom promotional items are bottles, right? Bottles of water, cups of co cups for coffee, a pen, a pencil, a bag. A, a, I don't know how big. A, a key holder, sí, a key holder. Those are like the most common promo promotional items, right? that people give. For example, in the restaurant, they can give you, okay. 
a, a napkin with the name of the, of the, pero una napkin de verdad que no se bote, right? Or spoon, or spoon. Or a spoon with the name of the, of the restaurant. Uh -huh. Have you seen that in, in Mr. Donut? Sometimes they have, they take glasses with the, with the name or caps with the name of Mr. Donut. No, no son gratis. They sell them. It is like the coffee is free if you buy the cup, right? Or the soda is free if you buy the glass, pero la taza vale casi tres dólares. Right? But Here in San Salvador are a place that they sell ice cream and uh -huh. the promotional item is a spoon, a green large spoon. And that's the promotional item. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, another promotional item could be like in Las Cajitas Felices, you seen for children? that they have a toy. Toys. I'm gonna show you something. A ver. This one, <laughs> right? What happens with this promotional item? It's not, it's not free, totally, right? But the people think it is free, but it comes in the happy box that children want to buy because they want the toy, right? So that item motivates children to, to, be, to buy that box, right? or in some cookies that you can find stickers. I was listening about the collection today, no, yesterday. I was, I was listening about the collection of some stickers, some type of bread or cookies, something. That they say at the end, you can get free something. I didn't pay much attention, but it, those are promotional items. So it can be whatever, right? It can be a, a, a dish with the, a special dish that is prepared with the name of the, of the, of the restaurant, for example. Okay, Basha. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to send you to the rooms right now. So you go practice the conversation and answer the questions, okay? Vamos a ver. Tengo seven. Ah, bien, hago ocho hoy. I have more people. Teacher, excuse me. In, in this, in this area. And the question two. What is the meaning now, nowadays? Nowadays is in these oh, days. Nowadays. O sea, hoy, oh, hoy, en estos días. What is? Okay, thank you. No, no every day, sino que en estos días. En estos días. O sea, no okay. hay en el pasado, sino que en los días en que nosotros estamos viviendo. Así como su, cuando los papás dicen, I remember when I was a child, everything was very delicious, but nowadays, nothing tastes good. Right? Have you heard that? So nowadays, los días, en los días que están viviendo ellos. 
Bueno, todos nosotros, <ríe> no lo ellos, ¿verdad? Vaya, ok, vámonos pues a los rooms, practice the conversation and then answer the questions. There we go. Qué calorcito, ¿verdad? It's hot. Diego, join. Carolina. Edwin. David. Carla. Ok, perfecto. ¿Cómo es? En la página 21 está la conversación. Uh -huh. Ahorita la busco. You can share. My body is here, but my soul is in another place. Your mind. <laughs> my, my body is here, but my soul and my mind are sleeping. Okay. Bye. Si quiere comenzamos primero usted y yo y luego Karen. Con usted y así. ¿Le parece? Usted y yo, ¿quién es? <laughs> usted Diego. <laughs> ok. Okay, um, Mr. Mott and you, Jennifer. Sí, sí. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. How, how's going on? Going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who comes in regular basis. That sounds good. good. I am thinking about the new marketing strategy and I am going to know so some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a, a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, change. We seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting, promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever get a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Uh, otra vez? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in regular ways. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. I don't know what you think. Hi, teacher. Hello. Y Beatriz. Hello. Ah, bye. Aquí estoy, teacher, es que me está fallando un poco el inter. Entonces, a veces por ratos me toca desconectar la cámara, si no se me traba todo. Oh, sí, es uh -huh. cierto. Y en las conversaciones, eh, por las conversaciones prefiero que el audio se escuche mejor. Sí, 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 sí. Did you finish practicing the conversation? Go to the question. Yes. yes. Answer the yes, question. Yes. Conversation. Sí. We sí. are working in the in the questions. What kind of restaurants do you think Jennifer manage? Uh, Beatrice said but, that is a, a fast, fast food restaurant. Food restaurant. 
Okay, fast food restaurant, maybe. Mm -hmm. And the second word, some marketing strategy, the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients. Um, any, uh, <laughs> any, any strategy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yo he puesto eh, seldom change the menu or wherever mm. they are promoting a dessert every week mm. porque creo que en be... español la pregunta es ¿qué estrategia ocupa el restaurante para atraer clientes? Ah, pero... estoy equivocada o algunas estrategias uh -huh. que Según el restaurante la conversación. utiliza Ajá. Ah, para obtener más clientes. Um, eh, dice pero, que raras veces dice eh, cambian el menú. Maybe Hoy. we are the promoting a dessert. dessert. And promotion a desert every week. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher, Hello, teacher. ¿qué se le puede poner que ya trabaja en una cake shop? ¿Que trabajan a dónde? En una cake shop. No, es manager. Managers. And cake una... shop. Cake shop. Que sería una... Cake. In a bakery. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso preguntaba si puede ser bakery, una pastelería. Ajá, bakery, sí, sí es una bakery, aunque sean pasteles lo que hacen es bakery. Ok. okay. Bien, number two, where some marketing strategy the restaurant is using no one, nowadays to get more clients. Uh, one strategy is change the menu. They change the menus. And promotion a dessert every week. Uh -huh. Es como comiendo, Teacher, dígame. Pronunciation eh, seldom. 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 It's correct. Seldom. Seldom. Sí. sí. Eh, eh, la, the other promoting. 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 Yeah, promoting. 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 Miss Carolina, the practice again. Okay, the conversation. Yeah. Okay. Si usted inicia, después cambiamos. 
Yeah. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is going? How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am. I am just checking the number of people who came in a regular basis. That's a good look. I think in a new marketing strategy. I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever get a promotional eating? No, sir. We never do. Hello, Jennifer. How is, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mom. I am just checking the number of people who come on a regular basis. basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to with something. Tell me, sir. How often do you, we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional, promotional item? No, sir, we are never do. Teacher, se pronuncia, se pronuncia con o quién? Eh, ¿En cuál? Vamos a ver. Eh, primer párrafo de Jennifer. Who, who's fine, Mr. Mott? I am just checking the, checking number, the number of people who come. Come. In a regular basis, come. Teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Cambiando de tema, eh, yo hace, bueno, el mes pasado donde laboraba hubo un recorte, entonces mm, me, me quitaron. Pero ya estoy laborando en una nueva empresa. Uh -huh. Entonces estaba hablando con ellos y le, le mencioné el tema, ¿verdad? Que para solicitar es, es demandar la, la planilla. Con eso tengo que hablar con los de, de inglés corporativos, con esa sí. forma. Sí, tendría que reportar este, a Luis Bonilla cuál es su caso para que él le diga qué puede hacer en ese caso. Mm, ok, ¿verdad? sí, porque ahora estoy con una nueva empresa, pero le estaba diciendo ahí, entonces me dijeron que le mandara el correo y toda la información, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para ellos iban a mandarla. Y pero no hay, no hay, no hay problema, porque como, bueno, este mes que pasó ya coticeba. Ajá, ajá, exacto. No hay problema, entonces iría a la clase para el siguiente módulo. Yo creería que no, pero comuníquese con ellos porque esas cuestiones así más administrativas son ellos los que lo manejan, ¿verdad? 
así para que ellos le digan qué puede hacer en ese caso, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno, porque o si no, por lo menos, sí. Yo creería que no hay problema, porque si la empresa le secunda y le da la firma y le da los documentos y todo, no, no creo yo que haya problema, pero, pero igual comuníquese con, con el área administrativa, ¿verdad? Para que ellos le puedan dar una mejor guía en ese aspecto. Ok, eso. Luis Bonilla, uh, aunque allí yo tengo varios números de ellos, pero yo a uno de ellos le puedo preguntar a ver qué puedo hacer. Sí, a uno de ellos pregúntele cómo, cómo puede cómo puede hacer. Ahí en el, en el grupo, de, en el chat del grupo hay, hay varios a quienes le puede, le puede escribir, ¿verdad? Y le, puede, le pueden ayudar en ese aspecto. Bueno, ok, entonces, gracias. Ok. You finish, right, Carolina? Yeah. Ok, let's go. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Ok. Ok, bacha. I'm going to call attendance before checking. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Ah, vaya, no había llegado, ¿verdad? <ríe> Diego. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Joanna. Present teacher. Jonathan. No está Jonathan. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Program. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Luis Edgardo. Por ahí estaba, ¿verdad? Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Present teacher. Present. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Hoy ya estamos más, más completos. Ok, perfecto. Pacho, pacho. Okay, can I have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation, please? Oscar. Oscar is my volunteer. Okay. Anana. Okay, Oscar and Anna. Okay. Ahí vamos. Ahí va. Primero ella, yo. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? You. Aquí lo voy a decir. Tengo una mano. You finish. You finish, Mr. Homon. I am good chicken. The number of people. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. No. Hong Kong in regular basis. 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 Base. 
Basis. 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 Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking of new marketing strategy and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the meaning? Where? We seldom change the menu. However, 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 we are from promoting, 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 mm -hmm. promoting a dessert, a dessert, a dessert, a dessert, a dessert every weekend. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. One last volunteer. Me, me teacher. teacher. Okay, Mimi, Karen, who was the other me, Beatriz? Who was the other okay. me? Sí, verdad. Vaya, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is, is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Lud, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to, to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we still don't change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever get a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, nice. Okay, now check this. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Mm -hmm. A cafeteria because of the dessert. Okay, okay. Fast yeah, food restaurant. Or it could be a bakery too. A bakery. A restaurant. A food uh, restaurant. A uh, restaurant. Uh, of what type of food? Where um, American. An American food restaurant? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Somebody was saying there, Apollo Campero. Okay, what are some marketing strategies the, the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Change the menu frequently. Mm -hmm. Counting the people, uh huh. Another. They are counting the people who enter, so who visit the, the the restaurant. What else? Change the menu frequently. Do they change the menu frequently? Oh, 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 oh. No, no, frequently. Check seldom. Seldom is todavía más bajo que hardly ever. Es allá. Uf, a los tiempos. Cambian el menú de ahí. Toda la vida le ofrecen lo mismo. Right? Uh -huh. Ok. So, the only strategy is counting the people who visit the place. Or is there another strategy that they are that they are using? They are changing the dessert every week. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are having or they are providing a new dessert every week. Is that enough? <laughs> is that enough? 
Yes, no. Maybe, maybe they could do, for example, two for one. It's okay if I say two uh -huh. for one. Yes. You pay one, you get two. Right? Okay. Desserts or dishes? Coffee? Co because oh, okay. it's a little bit more... It's less easy. expensive. Yeah. It's less expensive. Okay. Uh -huh. Two cups of coffee for the price of one. Pero, if you buy a dish. Buy on ellos. Because if no, you will be losing money. If you're just giving the promotional item to everybody without getting anything in change, right? So if somebody get, buys a complete dish and buys a cup of coffee, you give another one, right? Because remember that the purpose of the marketing uh, strategy is one, to get more clients, but also to get more money, not only more people coming, but also more money entering, right? Okay, any other strategy that they could, that they are not using, but they could use in this case? Offer discount coupons. Open. A coupon, a coupon yes. discount. Okay, for the next, for the next buying, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can be sure that people will come back. Right. Uh -huh. Change, change menu. Change the mm. menu. Yeah, mm. change the menu. Change the mm. menu. Um, see, they with promotion. Okay. Do you think it would be a good idea to have a menu for each day of the week? Like on Mondays, we have this menu on Tuesday, or at least one dish should change every day of the week. Is that a good idea? What do you think? Yeah. If I had a restaurant, I would do that. I would change at least one day, one dish every day. So people who like fish, for example, they know they have to go to my restaurant on Monday. If you like uh, the Saturday um, sopa de pata. Uh, ah. <laughs> sopa de pata on Saturdays. Uh -huh. No, or Saturday do for one dry 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 Oh, drink. drink. Okay, drinks two per one on Saturday. Mm. You know what is one strategy would be? To give the promotional, uh, or to have a promotion for the day when you get less people. Right? Because if on Saturday is when you get more people, and you get the and you give the drink two per one, you are losing money. Yeah. But if you make that strategy, the day when you get less people, people will start going to your restaurant that specific day. Then because the purpose is to get more clients, right? So you can uh, make a strategies for getting more people on those days when it is empty or not enough people arrive to the place. Yeah. Okay, bueno, let's go check. Remember, we're mm -hmm. talking about others of frequency. Um, here I have a couple of numbers for you to see. You wanna, you want to keep it? Espérame, ya se lo capturo. That's not a problem. 
la, 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 la. Ahí está. Saturday, do for one, one dollar, Margarita. Vaya, allí va Oscar en el chat. Ok. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Vaya. So check. check. Always. Usually check the frequency, right? How the frequency is going down. So you have first, the, <clears throat> the most frequent thing is always. Then you go to usually, then you have normally or generally that is similar, often or frequently, sometimes, occasionally. Occasionally is similar to say from time to time. Yeah, that's occasionally. Seldom, hardly ever or rarely, and then never. Okay. And we have a couple of examples there. I repeat after me. I always go to bed before 11 p.m. I always go to bed. I always go to bed before 11 p.m. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I normally go to the gym. I normally go to the gym. I often surf the internet. I often surf the internet. I sometimes forget my brother's birthday. I sometimes forget my brother's birthday. I occasionally eat fast food. I occasionally eat fast food. I seldom read the newspaper. I seldom read the newspaper. I hardly ever go out at night. I hardly ever go I never swim in the sea. I never <coughs> swim, swim in the sea. sea. One more time. I always go to bed before 11 p.m. I always go to, I always bed. Go to bed before 11 p.m. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I normally go to the gym. I, I normally, normally go to the gym. gym. I often surf the internet. I, I often surf the, the internet. internet. I sometimes forget my brother's birthday. Sometimes, sometimes forget my brother's birthday. birthday. I occasionally eat fast food. I occasionally, I occasionally eat fast food. Fast food. I seldom read the newspaper. I, I seldom read the newspaper. newspaper. I hardly ever go out at night. I hardly, I hardly ever, ever go, out, go at night. out at night. I never swim in the sea. I never, I never swim never in the sea. I want to I want to show you something. Check. When we're talking about adverse of frequency, there are two things to keep into consideration. And one is if you are using a verb, any verb, or if you are using the verb to be. Okay, if you are using the verb to be, you say they are never. Yeah, they are never pleased to see me. Qué triste, ¿verdad? She, us she isn't usually bad tempered. So if we are using the verb to be, we use the verb to be before the adverb of frequency. But if we use other verbs, we use the other verb after the frequency. I always remember to do my homework. He normally gets good marks in exams. Yeah. He normally gets good marks in exams. We can write another example here. Give me an example. Mm -hmm. I always drink a coffee in the morning. 
drink a cup of coffee. In the morning. Yes. I always drink a cup of coffee in the morning. Uh -huh. Now give me one example using the verb to be. Tell me another one. Using the verb to be. Only one. Only one, only one. I always. I... Uh huh. I always. Mm. I, I, I always. They are I go always. Shopping. I always go shopping. Sería para esta. Para de arriba. Uh -huh. They are always come early at work. No le vamos a cambiar el always a usually porque ya tenemos dos con always. I usually go shopping. ¿Cuándo? On weekends. Sí. Ah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ana, tell me. They. Joanna was the given the exam. Ah, Joanna. Bye. <laughs> okay, Joanna, they are. They are always. Uh -huh. Come early at work. They are always. Come early at work. Vaya, allí vamos a hacer una okay. cosa. Si usamos el verbo to be, no podemos usar otro verbo. ¿Sí? They are always early at work. Exacto. They are always early at work. Uh -huh. O they always get early to work. Depende. Okay. One more example with the verb to be. A ver, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. I am usually on time to the classes. I am usually on time. Class. Fantastic. Sí. Um, any questions? <coughs> questions. Question is en la segunda, cuando en el en el párrafo cuando se ocupe el verbo to be no. Como dijo que no se tenía que usar. Vaya, ya les voy a poner allí algo. El verbo to be, el to mm -hmm. be, lo ocupamos con adjectives. Mm -hmm. So you can say, I am always happy. Yes. He's usually tired. You, so you have the verb to be plus an adjective, pleased, bad temper, early. Also, you can use a place. I'm always at home. See, I'm always at home. So I can use the verb to be plus an adjective or the verb to be plus an, a place. Sí. También el verbo to be lo usamos con un noun. ¿Verdad? Como I am a student, pero en este caso 
no podemos usar el adverbio frequency con, con, con now, entonces no lo voy a poner, porque no podemos decir I am always a student, no voy a ser estudiante siempre, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí. <coughs> Ay, ahí no me dice cómo vuelve, pero es seco. Ok. Ya lo voy a Any question? No question. Pero acuérdense que, por ejemplo, si usamos eh, otro verbo, ¿verdad? No puedo usar el verbo to be con otro verbo, a menos, a menos que estemos usando el present continuous. I am playing, I am swimming, si no, no. ¿Verdad? Any question? Any question? No question. No question. Okay. Vamos a ver. Check. Adverse of frequency indicate how often an action takes place, right? Always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Ya los estuvimos viendo. And we have some other examples here. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. Okay. They regularly select. I always give. I often, we often change. Now, in the next activity, you will going to work with your partners and you're going to write sentences about the activities that you do at your workplace. See? And you're going to use this adverse of frequency to describe how often you do those activities. Aquí tienen espacio para por lo menos dos. Sí. At least two. Any questions? Questions. No? No questions. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to send you with a different partner. Hmm. Bien, hago nueve. Según se van agregando ustedes, voy agregando más grupo yo. Agregando aquí, teacher. Ah, los grupos. Es que primero había hecho. Pero no me ha salido, solicitó. Ah, es que primero los hago yo y después los mando, entonces ya les aparece. Es que estoy mandando a Edwin y a Carla a un grupo de tres. Ok. Porque no están. Vaya, hoy sí ya. Ya estamos. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. There you go. Chicken, chicken. Carla Lorena Beatriz. Señorita Beatriz. Grace, Grace, Grace. Things that you 
things that you do at work, Bea? Uh, yes, in uh, my workplace. Okay. First, uh -huh. always. I always. I always. Come to my work early. Ah. <laughs> Always. Always. Okay. <laughs> it's a lie, but. <laughs> okay. It's an exercise. Okay. I rarely. Rarely. Uh, I rarely. I rarely have a rush with my co-workers. Yes, yes, maybe. I rarely hardly ever. I always process the payments. I always process payments. Payments. Always the payments. Okay. Process the payments. Then is rarely. 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 Rare. Rarely. 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 I rarely. Rarely. I rarely. Well, how do you say dar como brindar tratamientos o dar tratamientos? Eh, give treatment. Give sería el verbo. Eh, I dar. rarely, I rarely give treatments. Give treatment. Sí. Treatment. Okay. Treat. I rarely give treatments. Mm -hmm. Claudia? I rarely visit the other branches or office. Other branches. Mm -hmm. Okay, la otra es hardly ever. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever is a less probably. Then rarely. No, hardly ever and rarely are similar. Similar. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever, hardly ever, hmm. I hardly ever, hmm. I hardly ever. This is difficult, teacher. Yes. I hardly <laughs> ever. Um, go out on working hours. Extra hours. Working hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, you Claudia. Working hour es como horas extras. No, es horas laborales. El trabajo, es horario. Uh, uh, work. Working hours. 
Y el mío. Mm, I hardly ever. Porque es casi nunca, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I hardly ever. Y how do you say horas extras? Eh, extra hours. Extra time. Extra time. Oh, extra hardly time. Ever. Hardly ever working extra time. Okay. I hardly ever work. Sería en este caso, work. ¿verdad? Work. 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 Uh -huh. I hardly ever work extra work. time. Extra time. Extra, extra time. time. Okay, let's see. The other one is seldom. seldom. Ah, it's even <laughs> less probably. Uh, we seldom change the machines. I seldom. Seldom change. And the machine. Mm -hmm. I seldom mm, I seldom uh, teacher, how do you say when um trámites different trámites in, in other in other office for example is AFP banks mm, trámites just trámites trámites I hardly ever make trámites I seldom I seldom, oh, I seldom make, make trámites trámites, make trámites. I sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I sometimes eat lunch at time. Not all the time, sometimes. You sometimes eat lunch on time. On time. Okay. Do mommy, I do I do I sometimes. Mm. I sometimes give give presentations. Mm -hmm. Hacer presentaciones sería. Hey, uh, give make. presentations. Uh -huh. I sometimes give presentations. Mm -hmm. Nice. And never. I never give a. Um, sometimes it is. I it's never. Not I sometimes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have work meetings in the office. Como, como? Sometimes I have work meetings in the office. Mm -hmm. Así está bien estructurada, teacher, la oración. Repeat. Sometimes I have work meetings in the office. You have work meeting. Work meeting. Es que esa es la parte que no entiendo. Como algunas veces yo, yo tengo reuniones de trabajo en la oficina. Ah, you have oh. meetings. You have meetings. Ah, meetings. Ajá. Uh -huh. You have meetings. Mm -hmm.
I okay, I'm going to check one last group and then I call you. Hi, hi, Karen Elena. Hi, teacher. We finished. Excellent. I'm going to call you then. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Ready. Okay, okay. Vamos a ver. I'm going to chair. And you tell me one volunteer to give me sentences using always. Diego, could you share the uh, the examples? Because um, <clears throat> my screen was erased because I didn't take a screenshot. Okay. Um... Number two, or number one, always uh, the sentences is let me see. I always do my work early. Yes, I always come to my work early. Okay, very good. Always come to or get to your work early, Oscar. Always. Have you, have you put the R always on time today at class? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Rarely. Who wants to do rarely? Me. Uh -huh. <coughs> I rarely give treatment. Okay, you rarely give treatments. Nice. Who will be my next volunteer? Teacher. I, uh -huh. I rarely have a rush with my co workers. <laughs> okay, very good. Teacher, I hardly ever to rest on week. 
I hardly ever rest on <coughs> weekends. Yes. I hardly ever rest on weekends. One more volunteer. I hardly ever work extra time. Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> okay. What about seldom? Seldom. Seldom eat lunch at the workplace. At workplace. Okay. Good. Good. Sometimes. I sometimes. Luis Mauricio goes to the karaoke. No, Luis Mauricio sometimes goes to the karaoke, especially on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about never? never? So many things. So many. I never yeah. drive a company car. I never drive a company card. Nice, that's nice. I never work on Sunday. Yeah, I never work on Sunday either, Elena. Sunday is for resting, right? <laughs> okay, uh-huh, another volunteer. I never give a massage. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Somebody else? Maya, look at this then. Check. Look at this graph. We have a change the menu. Rotate shifts, do the search, promotional item. And then you have the different branches. Well, we have four branches. One branch, the green one shows San Salvador. The yellow one shows La Paz. The other green is La Union and the orange is Usulutan. So what you're going to do is look at the graph showing how often three branches of a restaurant do promotional activities during a month. Well, really four branches, right? Bueno, the, the, the central I imagine is San Salvador and the other three branches. So look at the graph showing how often three branches of a restaurant do promotional activities during a month. And then ask a classmate how often each branch does promotional activities. Yes? And in your manual, you write the answers that your partner gives you, right? A ver, eh, Adriana, can you ask the first question? For example, how often does La Paz change? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to write the first example here. How often? Okay. How often? Eh, Usulutan. Eh, Rot, rot, rotate, okay. rotate, rotate shifts, shifts. ¿Quién va a responder? Nubia. Nubia, how often does? Usulutan, you said, right? Yeah? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay. How often does Usulutan rotate shifts? Promotion, promotional items? No, rotate shifts. How often does Usulutan rotate shifts? Then you will say never, rarely, seldom, sometimes. 
Sí. Always sería la de más arriba esta. Usually. Usually. Okay. Then give me a complete answer. They usually. So usually. Rotate shifts. Rotate shifts. Mm -hmm. They usually rotate shifts. Very good. Oscar, ask a question to Karen, Elena. How often? How often does? Si escogemos un lugar de acá. Por ejemplo, how often does? La paz. Acá escoge okay. un lugar y después acá uno de los. Aquí no mira la, la pantalla. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Muy chiquita. No, aquí ya, ya la grande. A ver. Va porque aquí va. How often, how often does, escoge una branch de aquí y después una actividad de acá. Ah, entonces sería how often does the union. La unión. La unión. Sí. How often sí. does la unión. La unión. Es una actividad. ¿Mm? Una actividad. Sí. Es a... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Corre. Corre. Sí. Aquí podemos usar el verbo make, porque no le pusieron verbo. Make a new desert. Give a promotional item. Ahora, yo sé. How often? Corro en, en la unión, como sé. Mm. How often does la unión? A uh, room. No, las actividades que están dadas aquí, porque estamos hablando del restaurante. Ah, entonces sería, how often, how often does, is, does is, la unión, is, unión uh, okay. make, it, make, it. make a new desert, make, make a new a desert. New desert. Okay. How often does La Unión make a new dessert, Karen oh. Elena? Um, they are they, um, sometimes. They, uh, they sometimes make a new dessert. Okay, they sometimes make a new dessert. Very good. Let's see one, I guess the last volunteer because of the time. Uh, Anna. Anna asked David. Okay. How David, how often does, does yes. how often does San Salvador change the menu? The San Salvador. San Salvador. Uh, Often the change the menu. The, the change. The change, change the menu. Changes. Mm -hmm. the San change. Salvador often changes the menu. Mm -hmm. San Salvador often change, changes the menu. Changes the menu. Okay. O oh, tenemos siempre para uno más. Uno más. Rosy, haz, haz un niño de los de por aquí. Elvin. Ok. Elvin. 
Ay, allá estaba Mauricio. Ok. Ahí está, ya, ya, ya. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, How often does eh, la unión relationship? Ok. Elvin, how often does la unión rotate chips? Eh, uh, sometimes that San Salvador promise annual aiding. Ok, la unión o they sometimes. Sometimes. Rotate chips. Uh, uh, they sometimes. They sometimes. Rotate. Uh, rotate. From, 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 rotate. Rotate. Chips. Protate chips. Mm -hmm. uh, protate some... chips. Yeah, they protate chips. Protate chips. Beatriz, señorita Beatriz, ask Luis Edgardo. Todavía no he llegado, teacher. Pero me puede contestar la pregunta. A ver, how often? How often, how often, how often, how often? Dime un momento, teacher, que voy todavía en el carro. Beatriz, ask the question. Beatriz, Beatriz. No, here, Beatriz. No, teacher. Teacher, no, no he entendido bien el... Teacher, lo estoy sincero. Vaya, look at the example. Can you see the example? Can you see the example? Yes, I can see the example. Ajá. Uh -huh. So you say, how often does, y escoge una de las branches, que aquí son cuatro, bueno, tres branches y la central. Después una actividad. How often does, por eso les puse yo, how often does La Paz make new desserts? How often does La Paz rotate chips? How often does La Paz change menu? O cambia de branch. How often does La Unión okay. give promotional items? Right? Vaya, give a try. How often does Usurutan new dessert? Make a new dessert. Ajá, ¿quién iba a responder? Ah, Luis Mauricio, conteste por el otro Luis. Ok, teacher. What is the question? I command. <risa> no paying attention porque no soy yo. El... Ajá. Perfect. <laughs> how often does la unión how often mm -hmm. does la unión make new dessert mm -hmm. ok eh, la unión change eh, uh -uh. makes a new dessert uh, yes <laughs> Yes, um. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, la unión okay, la unión make a new dessert uh, y el frequency ah sorry <laughs> ok la unión make the new dessert rarely ¿cuál es el orden? Uh, la unión rarely Uh, right. Thanks. Thanks. Exactly. Exactly. La unión. La unión rarely make a new dessert. Ahí está. Yes. 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 Hoy sí ya puedo, les puedo dar permiso de ir a dormir. Podemos dormir en paz, teacher. No, dormir en paz que no es morirse. No, dormir. No mucho, no dormir. mucho. Sí, no, no, duerma en paz todavía. Todavía, no. no. Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia, Carolina. Present teacher. 
Diego? Present. Edwin? Present teacher. Elvis? Present teacher. Present teacher. Present, Present teacher. Joanna? Present. Jonathan? José Alfredo? Present teacher. Karen Elena? <coughs> Present teacher. Karen Janet? Present teacher. Karen Stephanie? Present teacher. Miren qué bonito, hoy vinieron bastante. Y me gustó. Teacher, me escucho. Sí. Okay. Ya ando vigilándolos aquí. <ríe> me he venido a vigilarlos. Ok, vamos a ver, a ver, a ver. Vaya, Karen Janet me dijo present. Karen Stephanie. Present. Hoy es día número 7, Elvin. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Carla Patricia. Present, teacher. Carla Patricia, no hay. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Lucia. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. And Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, great, great. Bueno, have a good night. Go sleep. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Ah, ok. <risa> yo dije, me está preguntando y ya se me fue Elvin, dije yo. El Ay, bien, conectar, me iba. Y Elvin esperando que le dijera que otro se quedaba, ¿verdad? <risa> ok, tell me, do you have any, any question, Elvin? Yes. Eh, cuando ya voy por el módulo 6. ¿Cuándo ya voy a, a diferenciar cuando están hablando ya las personas en inglés? Depende de usted. ¿De cuánto lo practique o lea palabras nuevas? ¿Cuánto se exponga? Eh, ¿Cuánto se exponga al idioma? ¿Con qué tanta frecuencia lo practique? ¿Qué tanta atención me pone? Todo, todo, todo eso, todo eso depende, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí. Sí. ¿Usted entró desde el nivel 1? Sí, desde el nivel 1. ¿Cómo ha sentido la evolución del aprendizaje durante los seis niveles? Con, bueno, cuando estoy en la práctica, le voy entendiendo, pero media vez lo de, deje de practicar se me, se me va. Sí, es que realmente eso sucede. Si usted deja de practicar, se olvida. Sí. ¿Verdad? Mi sugerencia es esta. Ya le voy a mostrar algo. Ah, bueno, sí, y, de, y de hecho, oh, bueno, mañana le voy a pasar un link. Fíjese que en el manual, a ver, aquí está el manual. Al final, en el manual, ustedes tienen los uh, links que a los que ustedes pueden accesar. Siempre tienen... Solo. De videos, miren, de sí. audios, de videos, a veces son readings, y esto a usted le puede ayudar a exponerse un poco más al idioma, ¿verdad? Y sí. esto, y le va a facilitar definitivamente eh, cuando alguien está hablando en inglés, ¿verdad? Para ir con. Sí, porque a veces entiendo unas palabras, pero en otras me quedan en una. Sí, eso es normal, eso es normal, pero cuando usted tenga duda, pregunte, oye, no se quede ahí con que hay que me da pena. Sí, sí, como que, que dijo, que está diciendo, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, pues sí, 
Si usted, uh -huh. si usted tiene preguntas, o sea, si usted tiene alguna duda, eh, no, no dude, ¿verdad? No dude en preguntar porque realmente eh, en la medida en que usted pregunta es que se le puede dar más apoyo. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, no, no se preocupe. Y aquí eh, eh, los, los links, fíjense que los links que tienen generalmente son autos. Algunos son videos. Es probable que más de alguno le salga que ya no existe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De repente, pero este sí, ve, aquí está. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Ese ahí está. Es, eh, vamos a ver otro. Es, eh, cuando usted prueba, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pruebe. Sí. Vaya, este, por ejemplo, no está disponible. No está disponible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque en su tiempo, cuando hicieron el manual, estaban todavía. Pero uh -huh. hay videos que de repente los retiran. Pero ya vio, el otro sí estaba. Vamos a ver este. Eh... ¿Sí? Ah, ese también. Ahí está. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Veamos si el segundo está. Sí. Más que todo, creo que, como usted dice, que consiste en querer aprender, ¿verdad? Exacto. En pero poner el empeño. Pero uh -huh. si uno le, no le pone el empeño, creo que va a caer en la nube siempre. Sí. Es que, mire, aprender un idioma no es fácil. Pero uno sabe cuánto le cuesta. Y si usted siente, por ejemplo, que le cuesta bastante, tiene tra que tratar de exponerse más todavía. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? El idioma. Y eso es escuchar, por ejemplo, aquí en, cada, que... en cada lección tienen o videos o audios. ¿Verdad? Esos son para que ustedes los puedan ver porque no los podemos ver en clase. Sí. ¿Verdad? Si YouTube me permitiera, yo acá yo les pusiera audio, les pusiera videos, lo mandara a hacer ejercicios allá online sin problema pero no puedo por los derechos de autor, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. no puede. Pero ustedes sí perfectamente pueden tomarse el tiempo y, y ver los videos estos y escucharlo, puede oír una y otra y otra y otra vez. Y así se anda exponiendo más al idioma. Eso le va a un montón. Eh, otra cosa, eh, se puede estar viendo una película, escuchar y poner los subtítulos, pero en inglés. Ponga los subtítulos en inglés. Eso sí. le va a ayudar. Fíjese que a veces lo que están diciendo no es lo mismo que está en los subtítulos. Exacto. ¿Verdad? Cambia. Pero una idea le puede ir dando y, y sí le puede ayudar, definitivamente. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Porque... Hay, gente, hay gente que lo que hace es ver primero la película en español para tener una idea y después verla de nuevo ya en inglés. Totalmente en inglés, pero. Ajá. Entonces pero, ya va, va teniendo así como que, ah, eso era. Uh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces puede ir relacionando lo que está pasando y al mismo tiempo va acostumbrando su oído y puede ir también practicando la, la, la lectura, ¿verdad? Del, del... Sí. Entonces, sí eso y la escrita. Para... Bueno, la lectura, la, la, al escuchar, el, bueno, es lo que dijo usted, ¿verdad? Educar al oído para distinguir el, la escritura como el, el, la pronunciación. Exacto. Porque no es lo mismo estar describiendo la pronunciación. Sí. Ah, Un ejemplo es el desert y lo que me dijo ahorita, desert y desert. Ajá, desert. Son distintas. Eh, también el otro, el can y el con. Exacto. O sea, es de, de saber escuchar. Más que todo. Sí, pero eso está en que tanto usted se expone al idioma fuera del salón de clase. ¿verdad? Me gusta mucho la música en inglés, fíjese, pero es yo, otro... trato la, yo trato la manera de poner la atención, más que todo cuando voy manejando. Voy, esa palabra la conozco, digo, digo en mi mente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y ya, ya comienzo a verla, a darle en español la, lo, que está, lo que está diciendo ella. Pero hay otras palabras que no, no. Sí, vaya, yo una sugerencia. 
porque este, hay gente que dice, no, pero ¿cómo voy a hacer si no sé? Ay, tengo que traducir. Pero fíjense que en la medida en que se va dejando de traducir, que va tratando de comprender lo que se le va diciendo en inglés, quedarse con lo que poquito agarró, poquito quedese. ¿Verdad? Pero sin traducir, eh, su cerebro se va a ir acostumbrando a comprender sin la necesidad de traducir. Sí, solamente pensar ya a la respuesta o lo que tiene que ser. Exacto. Entonces, eh, expóngase al idioma, pero así hágase todo el esfuerzo más grande por no traducir. Uh -huh. eh, y distinguir las palabras. ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, no siempre va a entender todo lo que lee ni todo lo que escucha, pero usted puede, eso, eso es normal. Sí. ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, vaya en estos videos, si usted ve un video la primera vez, probablemente se quedó así como que, ah, vuélvalo a ver. La siguiente va a cachar un poquito más. Sí. Puede volverlo a ver. Y así va a ver que cada vez que usted lo vea, va a comprender más cosas. Su oído eh, va, va haciéndose más fino, ¿verdad? Al, hacia el idioma. Y de tanto oír algo, pues al final también se va quedando. Y se, y se va educando, ¿verdad? Se va educando el oído, exacto. Uh -huh. Bueno, también el formular oraciones es algo difícil, va. Fíjese que para eso lo que uno, le gusta es leer. Cuando usted porque, lee, uno, aprende vocabulario y aprende estructura. Porque a veces uno tiene una idea, pero ya al momento de decirle como que ya no haya cómo expresarse. Sí. Eso me pasa mucho. Sí, pero es allí donde ustedes tienen que tirarse. Y si se equivoca, uno les corrige y no pasa nada. La que sí, ah, pues sí. Bueno, sí. No es lo ah. mismo como, vaya, que imagínense, se equivocó un doctor, alguien se murió, pero se equivoca <ríe> uno aprendiendo un idioma, nada pasa. Exacto. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, si ustedes se equivocan, uno les puede corregir, pero si no hablan por miedo a equivocarse, entonces no hay forma que uno pueda corregir. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ok, bueno. Así ah, pues sí. Con ánimo y con confianza. <ríe> Claro. Bueno, gracias y good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, Pérez God. See you, see you. Bye. 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 Take care.